Personally, I've been experimenting with many different solar systems for quite a few years now. In the last, let's say, six months, I've been getting into essentially DIY solar. What I got recently was a 12 volt, uh, 100 amp hour battery from Red Odeo. I will leave a link down below in case you're interested in that video. Personally, I built a structure on my roof to hold 200 watt panels, which are secondhand. And then I have that feeding into a Red Odeo MPPT charge controller. And then that power coming from the sun is feeding into my battery. I've got all this power, right? I've got all of this power in my 12 volt battery, but it's all in DC, it's in direct current electricity. So what can I do with the direct current? What can I do with DC power? Now this is why we'll be looking at a DC controller box. So what is a DC controller box and why would you actually find any use out of this? I assume that most people are quite familiar in the DIY solar space that there is a difference between DC and AC power. Direct current is usually created from, unless you're using micro mini inverters, that's not the same thing on the back of your panel. Most panels create direct current. That's what they do. They make DC electricity. Now, one of the, the things with that is that we then have to convert that into AC whenever we want to run bigger appliances because they're usually designed for running on the grid, but we're off grid. That's the thing. That's, so that's quite different. The benefit is that when you're using direct current, it's usually generally a more efficient way to run a lot of your devices. And actually, you might not realize this, but a lot of your devices already are running off DC power. I will take, for example, my Mac, which I've already talked about in the, in the past, but my Mac computer actually runs on DC power. So in this video, I'd like to talk to you about these two devices that I got from Licity, which I believe they're based over in China. And actually, Licity, they actually ship worldwide, so they operate worldwide, especially with these little devices. When they ship products, especially to Europe, and I can confirm in France, I didn't pay any import fees. It arrived really quickly, which I was surprised by. I have received two units to talk to you about today. The DC controller box, the mini version, and also the regular size, the big big size DC controller box. I was using a lot of my solar generators to run all of my DC appliances. So that's like anything we were running from USB or DC LED lights or laptops, fridges, stuff like that. If you want to go down the route of using a DIY solar system, something like this is really, really valuable to have in your solar off-grid living. We're going to look at the mini version where I've mounted it. Personally, I mounted it just by my bed and it's really convenient to have it there. I might move it in the future. I don't know where, but I just thought I'd just put it there for now. And the other one I've put just by my office space, I guess. I have the larger DC controller box, which I am have connected directly up to my battery. I have the mini one connected as well. Let's talk about a bit of the unboxing first and what you get in the box. I think it was well pack packaged personally. What you get in the box is obviously the cables. We get some screws. We get another Anderson plug. Uh, I believe that the reason why they give you another Anderson plug is so that if you want, you can cut off the O-ring terminals and you could attach up this Anderson plug. And then that would allow you to daisy chain these together so you could connect them together if you wanted to. Now, I'm going to be using them just individually for, for now. And I might, in the future, I might experiment with connecting them together. If you connect them together, there is a, there is a fuse inside which protects the system. And I, I will talk about that eventually. I believe it's like a three or four meter long cable. It's incredibly long, the cable that comes with it. It's fantastic. I'm really happy about that. It's nice and thick and chunky. It's good. And that's with the mini DC box. And then we get a user manual and it's the same with bigger box. We get basically the same thing. The difference is, is that you've, you've got the larger system, which allows you to actually plug two car plugs. So that's what we get in the box. It's incredibly lightweight. So if we just go through some of the specification, it's using just a standard ABS plastic. It's a pretty sturdy plastic, I would say. I like on the back that we actually have a, a back plate so we can mount it to a wall if we want. I'll demonstrate where I've put that on the wall. And you can also just put it on a table and it has these little grommets on the back so that it just doesn't, it doesn't need to slide around on the table, which is great. What do we have on the actual device? We've got in total six different USB ports. We've got two USBs which are rated at 2.4 amps. We've got two quick charging ports which go up to 18 watts. I believe that could be each. And then I've heard that on the, I was looking at another review and the USB ports when it's 45 watts. If you're running one device through the one port, then you'll get the 45 watts PD power, power delivery through the USB-C. But if you want to run two different devices, I believe it might split the power. So just keep that in mind in case you're wanting to 
quick charge anything or run a very small MacBook off it or something like that. On this unit, we get one cigarette lighter socket and then we've got two DC 5 amp ports. Now, I believe that this is the standard DC 5525 barrel plug, just so that anybody's interested. I just plugged in standard ones. I noticed that when you plug it in, it's quite quite a tight fit, but it does it does it is very secure and it does go into the plug. So that is the specification of the mini. And then on the larger model, it's the same unboxing experience. The only difference is that on the unit you've got two DC car plug sockets. I believe that's the only difference. The display also for, for reading the voltage and the battery's capacity and such and health of the battery is a little bit different. I personally like the Mini's display a little bit more because you can read the number because it's just a bit larger. It's not a, it's really not a deal breaker. You can read the display very easily on both, but I like the one on the Mini personally. Now let's have a look at where I've installed the unit personally, how the mounting bracket works and what I think about the unit and also what, what devices can you run via a unit like this. So just for demonstrational purposes, I tried plugging in a bunch of different devices into the different various ports on the DC controller box, the larger model and the mini. So on the, on the first one I'd like to talk to you about is the larger model and what I've plugged into onto that. So I've got my Mac running on that. The PD power delivery doesn't actually charge because it's on 45 watts. So it will charge a smaller Mac, but it won't charge the larger one like the 16 inch or the 15 inch. So I have to then use a device that I plug into the car socket or the cigarette lighter socket. It's a small little device that actually can charge devices up to 100 watts on the USB-C and then that just runs on the car plug there, which is really, really handy. Uh, I think it's from a company called Bassos, I think. If I remember, I'll leave an AliExpress link down below. On the quick charging, I have some other things plugged in. I've plugged in my phone. Uh, you could plug in much more than this if you wanted to. And at the same time, I also tried plugging in a small portable power station uh, just via the, the plug there. Everything's charging fine. It works really, really well. I, I like it. And I like how it's actually kind of, it's not fixed, this one. So I could move it around the room if I need to, uh, which is quite handy. And I've also got a little um, USB hub where I've got more more USBs to, to run off if I need to. It's purely just for like using lights and stuff like that like that it's not it's not a necessity and then on the dc barrel plug i have my uh, lights plugged in again i filmed this during the day i've got some other footage of me filming those lights at night uh, to give you an idea and then we have the display showing the voltage and it works really well now if we look at the dc controller box mini the other version again the only difference is that it's just got one less port for plugging in a car plug. And I think that's about it. Even the display, I really like it on this model. I've got some different things in here. I've got a light running off that one on a DC plug. That, that It's a very tight fit, but it does securely fit into the DC barrel. I've got a USB charging a tablet. What's an interesting feature on this device is that when you turn it on and off via the power button, you know, with the blue circle, it turns off all of the USBs and the DC barrel but it actually leaves the 12 volt car plug socket on. So if you want to run a fridge or something like that, this is a really handy feature. Uh, and then I've also got another light running off one of the uh, plugs there on the USB port. And that's about it. I mean, I could run more, even more than that. You could get creative. There's all sorts of different things. You can run like a, a heating mat or like a, a warm blanket with which heats up via 12 volt power, or you could also use run a 12 volt fan. I'm demonstrating the fridge, fridge with a compressor in it, which actually goes down to minus 20 degrees Celsius. So anyway, that, that's what I'm charging. And I also just tried plugging in my phone on the larger one and everything's working really well. So I'm happy about that. Something I'd like to talk to you about is that there is blade fuses inside. I wrote an email to one of the associates who work over at Licity and they actually confirmed to me that there are two blade fuses inside. It might depend on which model you go for, but I assume the two blade fuses would definitely be inside the larger unit. The point is that there is blade fuses to protect the system inside. Just keep in mind that USB ports and stuff like that, like DC barrel plugs, they don't use that much amperage. It's, so, it's such a small amount of power. Now, whenever you're charging, let's say, something like which uses 80 watts or 60 watts, and you're, you're using much more higher amperage through the car plugs, then 
you might want to think about fuses. But keep in mind, car plugs, usually they have fuses built inside of them, which usually go up to like 10 amps and stuff. I saw one guy do a teardown of one of them and there was a 50 amp blade fuse in his unit. And another thing is that the USB ports are being protected by special inboard chips inside. In the last year, apparently, the two models that they've been selling over in Australia, they sold like 10,000 different units, and it's been going really well for them so far. So that's really good, a really good sign, I think. Another thing is that generally speaking, when you're doing a DIY solar system and you're wanting to have DC power like this, it's generally cheaper than buying a all-in-one package with solar generators. Now, that can depend on which brand you go with because the prices can fluctuate. But generally speaking, I think you get more value for money. DIY route will give you more flexibility on how you want to charge your devices. Definitely check out the affiliate links down below and also a link to the website. Subscribe for future videos. We might be looking at some other devices from Licity in, in the future. Who knows? We'll, we'll see what happens. They've definitely got some creative solutions to your off-grid living needs. I will leave affiliate links down below for the battery and for the fridge and other items that I've discussed in this video. Like and subscribe and I hope to see you in a future video.